One of the improvements I showed to my wood stove heating in the last video was this chimney heat recliner. In this video, I'll show the parts and how I put it together. I have plans that I made that you can find on my website and I'll put a link to that in the description. The parts for this heat reclaimer you can find at any good hardware store. They're just standard parts. This one is designed for a wood stove that has a 6 inch outlet. And it starts out with a 6 inch 90 that goes into a 6 8 inch reducer. And then we have an 8 inch T. And at the bottom of the 8 inch T there's an 8 inch cap. And that T will go up to a 2 foot section of 8 inch black chimney pipe to another 8 inch T and another 8 inch cap on top of that. And then it's back over to an 8 inch to 6 inch reducer. Then I have a 6 inch T with a 6 inch cap on the back bottom of that. And that goes back up through the 6 inch chimney. I did put a damper right there to restrict the flow when I need to. I'll show a closer view of how that uh, 5 inch pipe goes through there. Through the center of this whole 8 inch body, main body, is a 5 inch pipe. And that is a standard 5 inch duct pipe. Runs all the way up through the center and out the top. And the caps, the one on the top and the one on the bottom, are cut so the 5 inch pipe will slide all the way through, down through it. The area around the 5 inch pipe inside the 8 inch is the same area that a 6 inch stove pipe allows. So there's no restriction in there. The gases can flow all up around it and then back out without, without being hampered. I'll show a close up to the way that is cut in there. Here's a close up to the top part of the heat reclaimer. I'll pull this 90 off just so you get a better look. In order for that 5 inch pipe to slide through there and fit snugly around there, you took the 8 inch cap and first I drew two circles in the center of it. A 4 inch circle and a 5 inch circle. So I cut out the 4 inch circle all the way around and then every 3 quarters of an inch I'd cut out to the 5 inch circle and then I'd bend that up with the pliers. And that's how the 5 inch pipe fits snugly inside. I did that to the top and the bottom. I have a fire going right now in the wood stove so you can see I'm getting some air flowing through it right now. The length of the 5 inch pipe going down through this 8 inch structure is 5 feet long. And then I had a little piece on the bottom another 5 inch 90. And that one's made the same way. With hot clean burns I only needed to clean out this heat reclaimer about once a year. I have used one of these up to seven years at a time without having to replace any parts. But over time, some of the parts can get thin and brittle from the heat, and that does need to be replaced when they get to that point. Without a hot, clean burning fire, this will start to build up with creosote and start to plug up, and you'd have to clean it out quite a bit more. So that's something you want to avoid. That's one of the reasons why I insulated the firebox on this wood stove. Because it just burns so hot, everything is burned up. And I, I burn pine in here all the time. So that's the details of this non-electric chimney heat reclaimer. And it works pretty darn good.